just love that beautiful analog sound, that warm sound. It sends shivers up your arm. On a property in the middle of the Blue Mountains, John Auden has quite a collection of records, more than 200,000 of them in fact. This is my living. I've been doing it for over 30 years, so it, 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 you don't build up that amount overnight. John's love for music and buying records began when he was a child. From an early age, let's say when I was 12, I started buying cassette tapes, which um, led to LPs. After starting out as a chartered accountant, John decided to turn his passion into a career. My mind was always about collecting music and enjoying music and reading about music, so I sort of followed my passion when I was um, 21, I opened my first record shop. It took a fair bit for John to convince his family that it was the right move. My father was a little bit dismayed. Uh, however, um, he was you know, very proud of me um, before he passed away. He knew I was doing what I really loved doing. Over the years, John owned several record shops around Sydney, and when he gave those up, he moved up into the Blue Mountains and brought the records with him. These are um, some recent collections at the front, and down the back there is a lot of old stock. I do not know what's there. So what are some of the ones you're flicking at, uh, flicking through there? Um, Queen records. Um, the kid, kids love Queen. That, in particular, is a unique Australian release. It was Australian only, and it's got the Australian tour um, sticker, which hype sticker makes a big difference as well. So something like that would be probably $100. To try to free up some space, John sells his records around the country. Many of the record fairs are held in regional areas where the customer's tastes can throw up some surprises. Sometimes you think country and western is going to sell really well in the country. It doesn't necessarily sell well in the country. It, it might sell better in the city, depending on what style. But there, there, there seems to be more demand in Sydney than out at Orange for country and western records, believe it or not. After more than 30 years in the industry, travelling the country and meeting other music fans is a dream come true for John. I'm definitely an addict. It's just the sound, the history, the artwork, and finding things you never knew existed. There's so much strange music still undiscovered out there. It's like sound archaeological work. 